I'm Scott Simme. I'm the senior editor of Drone DJ. And if you stop and listen just for a second, do you hear the bagpipe? We certainly do. And man, we wish that piper wasn't here. But what we do have here is the DJI Mini 2. Now, of course, a lot of people really love to do the unboxings where they painstakingly peel away every tiny piece of cellophane. I think that's dumb. Here it is. It's right inside the box. Look at all the time we just saved. And right inside the bag, we have it. You know what? I'm willing to bet this thing weighs about, what does it feel like? 260, 240. That feels like about 249 grams to me. And you know why, of course, DJI loves the 249 grams, and many of you do as well. It's because once you're under 250, you can skirt some of the regulations. So you don't need to register a 249 gram drone. You don't need any special paperwork to go out and fly it. Now, when the original Mavic Mini came out, a lot of people were blown away at the engineering that went inside that little drone. It uh, had 2.7K video, 12 megapixel stills. I think I'm going by memory there. So if I'm wrong, don't make nasty comments. And it just flew beautifully well. It was stable and great. It wasn't so hot in the wind. Some people would like higher resolution video. So with the Mini 2, those are some of the things that you're gonna get with this. It has more powerful motors. It's better in the wind. It has 4K video, which we'll be looking at momentarily. And with OcuSync, I think it's 2.0, believe it or not, this thing can transmit back to you from 10 kilometers away, which really blows my mind. How do you do that? How do you pack all of that into this package? Well, DJI did it, and we're gonna go and fly it now. And before we actually get flying, Let's just have a once around look at the new DJI Mini 2. Look at that thing. Even from the back end, it looks gorgeous. All right, coming back up to the front and time for you to go. It still has that old Mavic Mini twitch to it, but of course the gimbal is so fast on this that you'll never see that if you're recording video. Uh, we do have it in sport mode now, which I'm curious to see because I know the original Mavic Mini wasn't really what you would call a fast drone, especially when you compare it to something like the Mavic Air 2, but let's see what it does. So we're in sport mode now, and we're going to go forward, directly straight forward, and we'll see how that goes. Just cut off a bunch of my hair. Now we didn't actually have very good distinguishing features on the grass, so we changed locations. All right, ready, set, go. Nice. Come on, do it again. Do it. Do it. Hooey. All right, one more time, closer to the ground. That's actually pretty spiffy. So the added torque is really nice, and in sports mode, it actually feels quite fast for its size. But we also wanted to try out the quick shot feature. So we tried out all of them. All right, we're gonna start with the rocket. And you might know that one, the drone simply goes straight up while keeping the camera locked on the subject. And it does a very nice job here, really smooth uh, and a great little shot. This one is the Droney, where the drone ascends while going backwards and once again keeps the camera locked on you. Oh, look at that, right between those trees. You think I planned that? I, I did, actually. I did plan that. 
And this one, as you might be guessing, is circle. Were I to do this again, I would not try to turn myself around and follow the drone. Dizzy. Now, this one is the old standby helix, which is kind of a spiral movement as the drone circles you and pulls away. This is actually my favorite quick shot because there's just something very cinematic about it as it reveals your broader environment. So I'm a big fan of the Helix and the Mini 2 carries it out flawlessly. And finally, we have the new quick shot of the bunch. This one is called Boomerang and you'll see why, because it's kind of like you're tossing out a boomerang and then it will return back to you, which is actually much better than any boomerang that I personally have ever tossed. Now, right out of the box, if you have a sensitive touch, the gimbal is nicely dialed in and the sticks have a great feel. Now, the remote, which of course is the same as on the Mavic 2 Air, is really an upgrade in my mind, though it does add a, a little bit of bulk to the package. But when you consider the Mini 2 is now using OcuSync 2.0 with a range of 10 kilometers, well, that's a 150% jump in range on the original Mavic Mini. And again, for a package this size, just amazing. I put the Mini 2 through its paces at several different locations, and at this one, I thought maybe the highlights were a little bit blown out, but not a bad job when you consider the price of this drone and that it was in auto exposure. I have to tell you, I really enjoyed flying this drone. Part of it was because it was a new drone. It's always great to try out new toys and check out their capabilities. But part of it was the simplicity of being able to take a sub 250 gram drone and know that the odds were very minimal that anyone was going to hassle me. Uh, some people came up who saw it. They were fascinated and interested. And I had to say, hey, don't take pictures of this. It, it hasn't been released yet. But it was really nice to think, you know what, in most places, you could probably pop this out without any difficulties at all. And in most jurisdictions, you'd be perfectly legal to fly it without registration and without having a license. Now you're a, you know, well-educated guy who knows a lot about technology, but what do you think about all of the engineering that has been packed into something that basically fits in your hand uh, and can do all the things these can do. I've been struggling with that idea my, this very afternoon because I was trying to solder some wires together on a, on a light and I got it wrong about three or four times. And I just think of the number of connections that must be going on in there. It almost seems outside of human capabilities, frankly, but there you go. It's pretty amazing um, when you think of just how much is packed into that and the fact that they improved over the original Mavic Mini. And really, I think, we can say this is a fairly substantial improvement over the original, the original Mavic Mini, which was itself really a terrific little drone. You gonna try flying it six miles away? That would be against the law, Dave. So this is David Cooper, who was behind the camera a few minutes ago. Now, David used to be a private pilot and he flew ultralight aircraft, but he's never flown a drone ever until ever. today. And so we just showed him the basics, how to tap the button for takeoff and uh, to initiate video recording. What do you think? I, I, I'm stunned. I, I can't believe how intuitive it is. Um, I was terrified that, you know, because there's so many, so many complex directions you've, you've got you've to take into consideration. But it seems to be, you know, like I can make it do that or make it do that and not crash it so far. So what do you think of being able to buy one for around the $500 price uh, range uh, that can I, shoot 4K video? Don't tell Peggy, but I will be getting one very shortly. Nice, nice. I'll, I'll send you a link, by the way. <laughs> <laughs>